Picture Italy, devoid of bustling tourist crowds, where the beauty of the landscapes is matched only by the richness of its culture. Imagine strolling down quiet cobblestone streets, the air crisp and cool, as you take in the enchanting views of the rolling countryside, the tranquility of Lake Como, the imposing beauty of the Dolomites. This is Italy, in the off-season, an experience like no other. From October to April, Italy sheds its usual tourist-laden skin and reveals a more serene and authentic side. The country's world-renowned landmarks, from the Colosseum in Rome to the canals of Venice, stand in their full glory, unobscured by throngs of people. You'll feel as if you've stepped into a dream, a world where Italy's rich history and culture are within arm's reach. The off-season in Italy is not just about enjoying the sights without the crowds, it's about immersing oneself in the unique cultural experiences that the country offers during this period. There's the White Truffle Festival in Piedmont, a gastronomic event that celebrates one of Italy's most prized culinary gems. Or the Feast of Santa Agata in Catania, a religious festival that paints the city in vibrant colors and fills the air with the aroma of traditional Sicilian sweets. During this time, the climate is milder, making for pleasant exploration. The golden hues of autumn in the Val d'Orsia in Tuscany create a picture-perfect backdrop for leisurely walks, while the crisp winter air in Emilia-Romagna offers a refreshing change from the usual hot Italian summers. Each region of Italy has its unique charm and experiences to offer during the off-season. Whether it's the tranquility of Lake Como, the culinary delights of Emilia-Romagna, or the rich history of Sicily, there's always something to discover and fall in love with. So, prepare your senses for an enchanting journey through Italy's regions, each offering unique experiences during the off-season. Our first stop is Piedmont, a region known for its gastronomic delights. Nestled in the foothills of the Alps, this region is a culinary paradise, especially for those who appreciate the finer things in life. When the leaves start to turn and the air becomes crisp, Piedmont transforms into a gastronomic wonderland, hosting one of the most anticipated events of the year, the White Truffle Festival. Imagine wandering through the bustling marketplace in Alba, the epicenter of the festival. The aroma of fresh white truffles wafts through the air, a scent so intoxicating that it lures food enthusiasts from around the globe. The festival is a celebration of the region's prized tuber magnatum, or white truffle, an elusive and delectable fungus that grows beneath the earth, only to be found by the keen noses of specially trained dogs. However, Piedmont isn't just about truffles. It's also home to some of Italy's most exquisite wines. Imagine sipping on a glass of Barolo or Barbaresco, wines that are as rich and complex as the region itself, while overlooking the sprawling vineyards that stretch out under a canopy of autumnal hues. This is a place where the wine is just as much a part of the landscape as the rolling hills and medieval castles dotting the horizon. And let's not forget the tantalizing regional cuisine, from the rich hearty stews to the delicate handmade pastas, each dish is a testament to Piedmont's love affair with food. Pair that with a glass of local wine, and you've got a match made in gastronomic heaven. Visiting Piedmont during the off-season allows you to experience all of this without the usual hustle and bustle. With fewer crowds, you have the opportunity to savor each moment, whether it's truffle hunting in the misty woods, wine tasting in a cozy vineyard, or simply enjoying a leisurely meal in one of the many charming Osterias. From Piedmont's truffle-scented forests, we move on to the vibrant festivities of Catania. So, buckle up and let's continue our off-season Italian journey. In the heart of Sicily, Catania brims with devotion during the Feast of Santa Agata. This is a festival like no other, where the streets of Catania pulsate with a vibrant energy as locals and visitors alike gather to honor the city's patron saint, Agata. This celebration, held annually in the chill of February, is a testament to the Sicilian spirit, a blend of deep-rooted faith and communal joy. The city is transformed into a sea of white as the devotees, donned in traditional white garments and black caps, carry candles and sing hymns, their voices echoing through the narrow streets and Baroque buildings of the city. The highlight of the festival is the procession of Agata's relics, a sight that stirs the soul. The atmosphere is electric, as the crowd swells with anticipation, their eyes fixed on the magnificent silver carriage bearing the relics. As the carriage is hoisted onto the shoulders of the cittadini or citizens, the air fills with cheers and applause, a testament to the deep devotion the people of Catania have for their patron saint. 
But the Feast of Santa Agata is not just a religious event, it is a cultural spectacle that offers a unique glimpse into the heart of Sicilian life. Street vendors sell traditional sweets like Olivet di Sant'Agata, green marzipan treats that are as delicious as they are symbolic. The city buzzes with music, dance, and fireworks, creating an atmosphere that is both festive and profoundly spiritual. Experiencing the Feast of Sant'Agata in the off-season presents an opportunity to immerse oneself in local traditions, away from the throngs of summer tourists. It offers a chance to engage with the people of Catania, to share in their joy and devotion, and to understand what makes this Sicilian city so special. As we leave the fervor of Catania behind, we prepare for a change of pace. From the fervor of Catania, we ascend to the tranquil beauty of the Dolomites. The journey continues, and the landscapes of Italy never cease to surprise and enchant. As we venture north, the Dolomites welcome us with their autumnal charm. In the heart of Italy, these towering peaks stand as a testament to nature's grandeur, particularly captivating in the fall. This season drapes the Dolomites in a vibrant palette of gold, orange, and russet, turning the landscape into a painter's dream. There's a certain tranquility that comes with the off-season, a peacefulness that is almost tangible. The summer crowds have dispersed, leaving the mountains to their quiet splendor. This is the time to truly appreciate the beauty of the Dolomites, undisturbed and serene. But the Dolomites are not just for admiring from afar. They invite us to explore, to venture into their depths and discover their secrets. The off-season presents a unique opportunity for hiking. The weather is milder, the trails less crowded. You can take your time, set your own pace, and let the mountains guide you. The panoramic views are nothing short of breathtaking. From the summit, you can see the world spread out below, a tapestry of autumn colors interspersed with charming villages and meandering rivers. The air is crisp and clear, carrying the scent of pine and the distant murmur of waterfalls. It's a sensory experience that leaves you feeling both humbled and invigorated. Visiting the Dolomites in the off-season is like stepping into another world, a world that moves at a slower pace, where nature is the star of the show. It's a chance to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and reconnect with the earth and its rhythms. Leaving the majestic peaks behind, we descend to the charming region of Lake Como. Our journey continues, but the memory of the Dolomites in their autumnal serenity lingers, a reminder of the beauty that lies in the off-beaten paths and the quieter seasons. Lake Como, a haven of tranquility, offers a serene retreat during the off-season. Imagine a place where time seems to stand still, where the soft whispers of the wind gently rustling through the trees are the only sound you hear. Nestled in the lap of the Italian Alps, Lake Como offers just this, a peaceful escape from the clamor of everyday life. The beauty of this lake, with its shimmering surface reflecting the surrounding mountains, is nothing short of mesmerizing. The off-season transforms Lake Como into an entirely different world. Gone are the bustling crowds of tourists, replaced by an air of tranquility that allows the true beauty of the place to shine through. The usually vibrant villas lining the lake's edge take on a more subdued yet equally enchanting aura. Each villa, with its unique history and architectural splendor, stands as a testament to the rich culture and heritage of this region. Imagine strolling through the lush gardens of these villines, the crisp off-season air filling your lungs, the scent of dew-kissed foliage tickling your senses, the enchanting view of the lake stretching out before you. Without the usual crowd, you're free to lose yourself in the tranquil beauty of the place, to take your time to truly appreciate the exquisite details of the villas, and to bask in the serene atmosphere that envelops the lake. The off-season at Lake Como offers a unique opportunity to immerse yourself in the local culture. You could find yourself sharing a cup of espresso with the locals at a nearby cafe, or enjoying a quiet boat ride across the serene lake, the only sound being the gentle lapping of water against the hull. The tranquility of Lake Como in the off-season is a gentle reminder of the simple pleasures in life, of the joy of quiet moments spent in solitude, of the magic of nature's beauty unfolding without disturbance, and of the charm of discovering a place at your own pace, without the pressure of a crowd. Our journey ends in the gastronomic paradise of Emilia Romagna, Emilia Romagna, the final stop on our journey, is a paradise for food lovers. This region, nestled in the heart of Italy, is renowned for its rich culinary heritage. As the off-season sets in, Emilia Romagna transforms into a gastronomic wonderland, offering a feast for the senses that is as unique as it is delectable. Imagine walking through the vibrant markets of Bologna, 
the region's capital, where the air is filled with the tantalizing aroma of simmering ragu and freshly baked bread. Here, culinary traditions date back centuries, and each dish tells a story of the land and its people. In the off-season, Emilia Romagna's culinary scene truly comes alive. The cooler months bring a bounty of regional produce, from the succulent porcini mushrooms to the crisp apples and pears. These ingredients serve as the foundation for the region's hearty comfort dishes, perfect for warming up on a chilly day. And let's not forget the region's star attraction, its world-famous cheeses and cured meats. Parmigiano Reggiano, a cheese known around the globe, is produced here, its flavor deepening and maturing over the winter months. Similarly, the region's prosciutto, cured in the cool, crisp air, offers a taste that is both delicate and robust. But the gastronomic journey does not end there. Emilia Romagna is also home to a vibrant wine scene. Its vineyards, draped in autumn hues, yield a diverse range of wines, from the light, sparkling Lambrusco to the full-bodied Sangiovese. These wines, paired with the region's culinary offerings, create a symphony of flavors that is truly unforgettable. The off-season in Emilia-Romagna offers a chance to explore this gastronomic paradise in a more intimate setting, away from the bustling crowds of the peak season. It's a time when the region's culinary heritage takes center stage, offering a unique immersive experience that is as enriching as it is delicious. From the truffle forests of Piedmont to the gastronomic delights of Emilia-Romagna, Italy's off-season offers an array of unique experiences. It's a journey of flavors, a celebration of tradition, and an invitation to explore the road less traveled. Our journey through Italy's off-season has taken us through a tapestry of unique experiences. We've witnessed the earthy allure of Piedmont's White Truffle Festival, where the intoxicating aroma of truffles blends with the crisp autumn air. We've sipped full-bodied local wines, their flavors as rich and diverse as the Italian landscape itself, a testament to the country's renowned viticulture. In Sicily's Catania, we've felt the pulsating energy of the Feast of San Agata, a vibrant display of devotion, tradition, and community spirit that invigorates the winter chill. The city comes alive in a riot of colors, music, and food, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Italian people. We've savored the tranquil beauty of the Dolomites in fall, their towering peaks bathed in a symphony of autumnal hues, a sight to behold and a moment to cherish. The serenity is palpable, a stark contrast to the summer crowds, offering an unfiltered view of nature's grandeur. We've strolled along the tranquil shores of Lake Como, its serene beauty undisturbed by the usual throngs of tourists, and we've sampled the culinary delights of Emilia Romagna, a gastronomic paradise that delights the senses with its irresistible array of local specialties. And finally, we've been captivated by the timeless allure of the Val d'Orcia in Tuscany, its rolling hills and cypress-lined roads painting a picturesque backdrop to a journey steeped in history, culture, and tradition. Each of these experiences is a testament to the off-season charm of Italy, a time when the crowds thin out, the pace slows down, and the country's true essence shines through. It's a time of discovery, of connection, and of immersing oneself in the heart and soul of Italy. So, when planning your next adventure, consider the off-season charm of Italy, where unique experiences await at every turn.